Okay, guys. It's Rock and Cav and City, and this is how Fijians drink kava. So what kava is, is, it's a root, and it takes a few months to grow. But once it has fully grown, it's uprooted, washed in fresh water, and then after that, it's uh, left out in the sun to dry. Then it's pounded into powdered form until it looks a little something like this. Generally, kava is normally used for you know Ceremony. in ceremonies, important stuff like weddings, funerals, etc. After work and you know have a beer or something like that, Fijians, it's almost like the same thing. You know, you finish work after a long day and you have kava. It's just a good way to relax. A lot of footy players love to drink this. Shout out to Ruben Wiki. Ruben Wiki, if you're watching, this is our version of Ruben Wiki <laughs> over here. We're gonna show you how we mix and how we drink. In uh, Fiji, normally they have like a big cloth. They made this very uh, ingenious contraption, which is a cloth bag, Ooh, whatever. Fancy. Yeah. This is what holds the powdered kava. Normally we'll put in, say, about four tablespoons, or five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, nine ten. ten. Depending on how strong you, you want it. And as you pour the water on, what you'll get is like a brown, watery substance. And that's what you're looking for. That's what you're going to drink. You add your water. Thanks to my assistant, Rock. And then as he's mixing, as he's mixing, you're basically mixing um, the bag and, and squeezing out the kava water. The more darker the water is, the less potent it is. Fijians like to drink it really strong. What's you know? that called in Fijian? The... Sosoko. Sosoko is when it's really, strong. really dark and strong, yeah. From what I've heard is that the, the Tongans, uh, they like it uh, really light, so they can go all night. If you know what I mean, no. <laughs> but uh, yeah, us Fijians, we just like to go overboard and uh, yeah. <laughs> this is a coconut shell. Uh, somebody went a step further and added a handle to it, which is actually really smart. Normally we'll have one for serving and the other one for drinking. Call a tanoa as well, guys. Uh, in Fijian, we call it uh, tanoa. Usually in the tanoa, we have uh, like uh, a face, like, like this, and that is um, facing towards uh, the chief. Or the respected guest. Or the respected guest. Whoever is sitting in the front. Yeah. Yeah, facing towards them. Sometimes when you're mixing, you ask someone else for their approval of the kava, of the consistency. And there's always that uh, one elder sitting in the corner and we ask him from a distance yeah. how it is and they'll, they'll do the whole, it's clear, nod. Yeah. In the Fiji, we normally put our hands around the bowl and say a little Fijian word just to inform Same. everyone that we're about to start the kava. The chief always drinks first, so he'll have his own cup. Uh, you'll have someone to stand up in the front, serve the chief first, and then the elders, and then everyone else drinks after. The one mixing, the one sitting and, and serving from the tanoa will be the last one to drink. Before you receive to drink, in Fijian we call it dhombo, we clap. So it's not a clap like that, it's... Clap before you drink. Then your first bowl you say, Bula to everyone, like cheese to everyone, and then you drink, and then you clap again, give it back, and then your next bowl after that, you don't have to say bula because you've already said it. You must drink, you don't do what this guy did. <laughs> and now we start. Mm. Depending on who you're serving it to, you can either have it high tide, which is all, all the way up to the top, or low tide, which is small. You give it off to your friend over here. Yo, don't bula. Bula. Bula vinaka. Bula. His face. <laughs> Mother! <sighs> Mother means finish. Usually when you're drinking for the first time, you get a tingle in your tongue and down your throat. 
that's normal. Don't get scared. That's the that's the carver working. So a good carver is when you feel it straight away, the tingling sensation. Hola. <laughs> you see? <laughs> this guy. You can tell who was born in Australia and who was born in Fiji. Bola. <laughs> Bola. Yeah, yeah. Bola. G'day, mate. Bola. After you have drink and carver, a lot of people like to have a uh, chaser just to take away the taste of the muddy water. Today, we have a uh, our very favorite Tim Tams. A lot of people love to use chips. Uh, or oh, just the standard uh, uh, lollies. Yeah, sour lollies. lollipop. They are normally straight after the last person drinks. They'll say tucky, which means serve. You gotta start, start again. Oh, tucky. Rock just caught it, tucky. When drinking kava, one goes, skull it down. Yeah, this is meant to be like a, I guess like a shot, almost straight in. Down the hatch. Say for a foreigner, a good thing to wear is a sulu. What I got on here, Joe and City. Take your hat off, no hats in, in indoors. Men sitting with their legs crossed. Women, she could have her legs crossed or the Fijian women way, which is. Like that. <laughs> That's generally how women sit like um, in Fiji. Don't fall asleep. Because sometimes if you drink too much, you can end up falling asleep. On the spot, yeah. Don't be antisocial. Yes. As well. Carver session is a thing where you tell stories. It's all about communicating and <laughs> catching up. A lot of people won't tell you this, but um, carver ceremonies are, are different. Each village. Yeah. Have their own uh, each offer. village, each province in Fiji have different protocols on how to, to do a uh, cover ceremony. If you're lucky enough to be a part of it, just uh, remember those guides that we showed you before. Uh, we've come to the end of our cover ceremony, our casual cover ceremony that is. We're gonna finish it off Fijian style. Our mother to now gonna turn we hope this has been educational on how to cover Fijian style. On behalf of Rock, myself, and Big City, we'd like to say Vinakaboka Lebu and Mode. Mode! Mode.